Hey Rat Bags, I'm back once more. It's the last stage before we go and explore the rest of the upper yard. We've completed all of the laboratories in the lower yard and we're about to go and get our access to the wizard's helmet or maybe even wizard's hat jade and the staves. So let's go. Let's clear out the termite hill one more time. Oh, hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you going to attack me? No, you're going to do it. Now, these guys have actually got slightly new animations, I swear. I feel like they do a little bit more kind of damage or stun damage a lot, especially when they turn around to do this. Obviously, thank God they've put a bunch more of these spawns. In fact, they're everywhere now. You can find at least three, maybe even four of them in the undershed. We've got a whole ton all in the upper yard, and there's at least maybe two or three around this side, like there always has been. Although the drop rate for the actual horns themselves are still pretty low sometimes. Don't be surprised if you don't ever get one. If you're new to Grounded, you don't always get a guaranteed horn drop. Alright, time to take out the termites. These guys, I will just take up all your stamina. This isn't a proper guide. It's me basically narrating over my live stream because I forgot to record my actual voice during it, which I was going to use for a later episode. But yeah, you do need to make sure you've got either a lot of glue to repair maybe your higher tier gear or make sure you've got the resources to go ahead and repair your weapons if it isn't above level 5. Especially your armor as well, as it can get absolutely wrecked going through here. You have to kill, if you're doing it completely, around 20 to maybe 30 of the termites. Obviously bring something with salty on it, like the mace is probably a good one since you might have upgraded it already. Otherwise, something with stabbing is equally as good. Don't use your spicy weapons or any kind of slashing. So what's changed? Well, there's a few more upgrade rocks added, and yes, there's obviously the brand new chip that gives you access to the wizard's hat and the wizard's staffs or staves. Uh, it's not actually a brand new chip, they've just changed around the order of stuff. But yeah, don't forget to go and explore all around the outside areas. Right, in we go. Let's go and see what else there is. So yeah, a bunch of upgrade materials. They should stack now to like 99. When I recorded this though, it was still only 35 max limit if you'd upgraded all your milk molars. So you should be having it a bit easier to carry all of the upgrade shards and rocks now. Like I said, this isn't a full-blown guide because I've done this a bunch of times. It's actually missing the raw science that you would have got there as well. But yeah, I'm going to point out some pointers. Uh, so we've got to get to the top. We'll go up here. That's the other aspect as well. There is a bunch more rust in here now as well. You'll find lots of the nails and they can drop rust. Although sometimes they don't always drop an uh, actual rust amount. So here we've got another upgrade rock. Get this one. They've opened up a new path. You can actually get directly onto the deck area now underneath this bit of wood. So that's brand new. There used to be some sort of jump across that you needed a tuft to really get across. Just underneath a little gap here as well, there's some more of the sturdy quartzite. My tuft is about to run out, just about enough to get here and go through the termite hill from this way. Yep, more termites. Again, got some more of the sturdy marble this time. There is just a ridiculous amount here. If you're not perfect blocking or you don't have a shield, you will find your armor gets wrecked quickly. So yeah, I would say make sure you bring something like that. Obviously some of the new armor pieces might work well. I'm pretty sure the acid is the same as the fire and acid as well. So if you've got red and armor, it should nullify any effects of the acid that they spit at you. When I stream this, I still only had just started exploring obviously the upper yard new stuff. So I was still relying on my Good old reliable ladybug armor. Although, as you can see, I've got shock and dismissal. That's one of the new mutations you get for killing the assistant manager. So yes, you will have to go and kill it again with the reset if you want to get that mutation. Even if I speed this all the way up, you can see how long it takes to get through. But it's going to be worth it once we get hold of that chip. Finally made it into the main chamber and yeah, got some more of the stuff. You can see there the rusty nail as well and some more quartzite. If you go all the way down to where the mushrooms are, you'll find even more. And right where you normally pick up a scab, there should be these two pieces too. I definitely recommend picking up lots of rust. You can get it from the picnic table as well, but making the rusty spear is a really good weapon. Like I said, if you're brand new to this, go and check out some of my older guides, as nothing really much has changed, other than just some of the rocks would be slightly different. But the milk molar is still in the same location on the other side of that mushroom tunnel, and we're back into the main one now to go and hopefully take on the termite king. But don't forget also about the tunnel that goes up to the tarpaulin. You will also find some more upgrade rocks there and some more rusty nails. Now the Termite King does or is meant to respawn. 
and you've got to think carefully about what you're going to make now. Normally, yes, you go straight for the tier 3 axe, which you're still probably going to have to do, but obviously now you can make the wizard's hat instead of just maybe making the chess piece. If you're someone that really wants to gather loads of resources to build, then the chess piece is going to be good. But for sure, now we've got the wizard's hat, I would say go for that instead to play around and see what it's like. Especially when you do go ahead and find the actual stuff to make a stave. Now the staves and staves are pretty hard though. You can't make all three of them straight away. You're going to need some advanced materials, especially for the one that gives stun damage or is made out of sour. It shouldn't be too hard to go ahead and make the first one, the fire one. All we've got to do is go and find some fire ants to kill. So there we go, killed the termite king once more. There is some tier 3 quartzite in here as well, and even more of the regular upgrades tier 2s. So we picked up the chip and we're pretty much done. I headed up to the top of the tarpon to see if there was any changes up here, and I definitely noticed some upgrade rocks hidden beneath the wood or around the back near the can. And once again we need as much of this food as possible so we can make more of the globs and stuff so I can start making more of the brand new weapons and armours. But again, for new players, just in case you don't know, I don't think these respawn. It's only the mints that you find in anthills or maybe just in random places like a sandbox or in other places where food will have a random chance of appearing, but the ones inside these cases don't respawn. And that's pretty much it. There's no real big changes. Otherwise, to say as well, there's no more rocks in that big basket on the bike. That was something they'd added, but it's been removed. So it seems like all the rocks have been put in other places, either in the new Termite Hill, which I've shown you guys already, a small guide. There's a brand new location to go and get some of the rocks, as well as a milk molar. And yeah, just showing you off the final few places. I'm looking for the bag that's got the scab shells in it. Oh, one note you should realise is the spiderlings, obviously underneath the tarpaulin, but you have got a chance of running into the new Black Widow spiderlings too. You might notice that some of the egg sacs are now tier 3, and these are the ones that have got the black spiderlings inside. And you do get various different types of bug drops from them as well. So I picked up the sturdy quartzite and stuff that was here as well. And then I was a chicken and decided to head to the outpost, the field station, to see if there was anything I could scan or if there's any new story beats. We've got this brand new tape. And then I went back home, basically. Although, obviously, I had to go to Burgle and hand their chip in. And there you go. The wizard's hat is 2,500 raw science. The candy stays is the same. And then we've got the cookbook wood pile as normal. And also, I think you get the more creatures sign set here as well. I will be using a lot of the magician stuff in my Let's Play videos in the future, so look out for them. And then yeah, I had to go and craft it. 10 berry leather, 3 crow feathers, and 4 of the termite king carapace. So yeah, you will have to probably wait until the respawn before you can maybe go ahead and craft a axe as well. But luckily I already had one since I'm an OG grounded player. You do need pinecone pieces as well to make the staff uh, for this one and the fire ant mandible. So yeah, you will have to venture right to the corner of the upper yard. So we'll definitely be doing that soon. The sour one needing that pond moss is definitely going to be the toughest to make. The mint one might actually be pretty easy as well. If you had missed some of my guides and my shorts, the mutation for the Whittle Wizard, you have to kill 40, then 100, then 200 creatures using staves, and then you get bonuses to the damage or whatever they provide. Remember, the fire one gives more burn damage, the minty one slows creatures down, and obviously the stun one, the sour one, stuns creatures more. So there you go, a bit unusual, but that's what I had to work with. Don't worry, all my Let's Plays after this have actually got me actually living and playing the game properly, not just talking over it like now. And I'll see you, Ratbags, hopefully for more guide videos and news soon. Laters, Ratbags!